In the vast universe of science, technology, engineering, arts and mathematics, it's high time we recognize the often underrepresented group of black women. Throughout history, women's significant contributions have often gone unnoticed. And as these sectors continue to grow and shape our future, the conversation around diversity and inclusion has never been more important. The She Steam 2025 summit took place in Cape Town yesterday. And to tell us more about it, we're joined by Dr. Nompumalelo Oboko. She's the CEO of the South African Council for Natural Scientific Professions. Doc, thank you so much um, for your time uh, this morning. Uh, tell us what inspired the creation of the She Steam Summit and how does this year's event align, align with those key goals? No, thank you very much, uh, Marcel, and good morning to you and the viewers at home. We really appreciate this opportunity. Indeed, uh, SACNASP as a government entity, we saw it fit to address some of the gender and racial disparities that continues to plague our education system, hence the creation of the She STEAM Summit. So this is a very innovative, uh, collaborative effort with local and international partners, really to empower young black girls and women from high school and those that are already undertaking and pursuing careers in the STEAM fields through access, exposure, and as well as mentorship. So we are bringing together, you know, leading women in the STEAM uh, sector to serve as visible role models and really to inspire, inspire our young girls. So in the 2025 uh, summit uh, held here in Cape Town last year, we were in Limpopo, and uh, we had keynote addresses, one-on-one -on -one engagements with the young girls, and most importantly, interactive uh, lab experiments and hands-on mentorship. So this was really vital and important so that the girls can actually understand you know, the real world, what is expected of them, and how can we as a group, you know, inspire our young girls? Because this is the future that we're trying to harness and also cultivate so that they can be prepared for the real world. 